I think with clinical trials, there's still going to be a few years to get through the clinical trial right. space. But to find the drug and get it into the clinic, I think we can shorten that from five or six years and hundreds of millions of dollars into perhaps one or two years and just 10 or 20 million dollars. Oh, that's great because drug companies have stopped taking you on hard missions because they know that 90 percent failure and they don't want to lose money. So they don't take on the things that you and I both know have to be solved for families that just have a terrible situation. Why don't you give us one or two of the things that you're tackling that no one else was willing to go to because it's too expensive and too much failure? I'll give you two. Okay. So one is we're going after a rare disease called cerebral cavernous malformation, which you probably haven't heard of. No. This disease affects six times as many people in the United States as cystic fibrosis. Really? But nobody understands how the disease really works. And so until we took this approach to use this, uh, this automated platform with ML and AI, Nobody really had an idea of how to make a drug. And now we've got a drug that's almost done with its phase two trial. We'll be reading it out next quarter, which is an exciting catalyst. Wow. And this is, this is the opportunity of the kind of approach. We look like what we think the biopharma industry is going to look like in five or ten years. And what's the other drug? You mentioned you talked to... So another one is we, we're working with Roche Genentech, one of the largest Big, companies in the space. fabulous company. We know that they have a good relationship. They're fantastic. And we're going after all of neuroscience for a decade and one oncology indication. And in just 18 months from starting that partnership, we already found an exciting new opportunity in oncology. And I can't tell you a lot more about it, but it's a new, exciting potential drug that we're driving forward with our partners at Roche Genentech. Now, neuroscience people have to understand, because I've done some work in the area, almost every drug company has given up. They just, it, just gave up because they don't understand the brain because it's too hard. It's so hard. It's absolutely, I mean, it, it's littered with failures. But that's why we think this new approach of using technology to map biology. I mean, think of it as like Google Street View driving around taking pictures of everything. We have microscopes taking tens of millions of pictures of cells every week. And we're using a lot of the same AI algorithms to turn those images into mathematical representations of biology that we think could unlock some really exciting secrets. Oh. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Cramer on X. Have a question? Tweet Cramer. Hashtag Mad Mentions. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1-800-743-CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.